Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, we're going to talk about the multiplication property of phi, uh, which is that phi is multiplicative, um, so long as uh, the two numbers involved are relatively prime. So that's to say that if A and B are relatively prime, it turns out that phi of A times B is equal to 5A times 5B. But again, very important that A and B be relatively prime, meaning that their greatest common divisor is 1, right? Okay, 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 cool. So um, first, a quick example, which would be like, let's try and do 542. Well, we know that 42 is equal to 6 times 7, and we also know that 6 and 7 are relatively prime. And therefore, we could do 542 by doing 5, 6 times 5, 7, which is 12. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool. But again, making sure that you understand that A and B need to be relatively prime, let's look at this, which is we know that 4 times 2 is equal to 8. But 4 and 2 are not relatively prime. So we cannot do 5, 8 is equal to 5, 4 uh, times 5, 2 because, well, we'd get 2 is equal to 4, right? Okay, 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 cool, cool. Now, in the rest of this video, I'm going to uh, try and show you why the multiplication property of phi works the way that it does. It's not quite a proof, but more a demonstration. Uh, but yeah, um, as far as stating the property and giving you an example, I'm done. All right, all right. Now, suppose that we're trying to do phi of 45, phi of 45. Now, we know 45 can be written as 9 times 5, and we know that 9 and 5 are relatively prime. So that's what we're going for. We're going to try and do um, phi of 45 by doing 5, 9 times 5, 5. But we're trying to get a feel for why this property works the way that it does. So here in this chart, I have listed all of the positive integers from uh, 1 to 44. So the only thing left out here is 45 itself. Yeah? Okay, cool. Now, uh, in this arrangement, Notice that there are three columns highlighted here, and those columns contain numbers that are not relatively prime to 9. Now, if you're not relatively prime to 9, then you cannot be relatively prime to 45, right? So any number that's not relatively prime to 9 is also not relatively prime to 45. Okay, cool, cool, because our goal, again, is to uh, count uh, the number of... Uh, positive integers less or equal to 45 that are relatively prime to 45. And so here, these guys we're going to have to throw out because they're not relatively prime to 9 and therefore not relatively prime to um, 45. Okay, but there is something very, very important about uh, these numbers in these three columns. Well, if we take all the numbers in this chart and divide them all by 9 and look at remainders, well, the first column are numbers that, when divided by 9, leave a remainder of 0. The second column are numbers that, when divided by 9, leave a remainder of 1. And then the second column, remainder of, well, well this is actually the third column, but yeah, you get it. This column, remainder of 2. This column, remainder of uh, 3, and so on, right? Okay, okay. And the uh, three columns that we have to throw out are multiples of 9, uh, numbers, uh, that when divided by 9, leave a remainder of 3, and note that 3 is not relatively prime to 9. And then these guys, which are numbers that leave a remainder of um, 6 when divided by 9, and notice again, just like 3, 6 uh, is not relatively prime to 9. So basically what we're doing is throwing out the columns that uh, have a remainder that is not relatively prime to 9. Um, yeah? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so then, uh, the number of columns that will remain, the columns containing numbers all in white, that's exactly 5 of 9 columns. Yeah? Uh, 5, 9 columns. 5, 9 is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So, yeah. So next, as we said, let's throw out these numbers in yellow. And um, all I'm doing in this chart uh, before we throw them out is I'm making clear uh, the idea of the remainder, right? Like I've written every number in terms of nine, right? Um, and yeah, okay. Uh, so, so that's all I've done in this chart. 
But like I said, let's uh, throw out the numbers uh, that um, are not relatively uh, prime to 9 and therefore not relatively prime to 45. Yeah? And when we do, our chart is going to reduce to this, right? And as I said, this chart here contains um, this many columns, phi of 9 many columns, right? So uh, the columns that remain, these guys, and obviously I've gone in and like um, um, yellowed some stuff in here, and that's our next subjects, right? But anyway, anyway, you get it, you get it. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six columns, and that's five, nine columns. Okay, now we go into these columns and highlight and therefore throw out uh, those numbers that are not relatively prime to five this time. Yeah, and when we do, when we throw out those numbers of these remaining that are not uh, relatively prime to five, this is what our chart will look like. Now, these five of nine columns that remained have exactly five, five numbers in each of them, right? Five, five, remember, is four. So there's four numbers in this column, four numbers in this column, four here, four here, four here, and four here. Yeah? Okay. And therefore, we get in total five, nine times five, five numbers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. This is it. And I hope you enjoyed this and keep watching. Take care.